Hey everyone, I wanted to give you one more update video on using your smartphone as a webcam. Now, as I mentioned in the last update, um, the DroidCam wireless app, not a big fan. I had very, very limited settings. Uh, also, the app on my smartphone completely cranked through my battery because of some background tasks that I couldn't figure out. And I tested it on two smartphones and it did the same thing on both. So. I'm gonna say DroidCam Wireless is not a good way to go. Um, I've spent the last day testing out Erian, which works for both Mac and PC and Android and iPhones. And this app is far superior. Now I haven't run into any battery issues, but as I use the app, we'll see if that comes to fruition. Hopefully it doesn't, um, but this app has been great. One thing I really like is the free version of DroidCam Wireless limited the quality of the video. Yeah, the free version of Erian lets me go up to 2K video with my smartphone camera, which is awesome. Um, there is a pro version that allows you to control more of your camera settings and a number of other things. I haven't used it. I'm sticking with the free version. Um, but it is, it is pretty um, easy to get set up and running. So let's take a quick look at how you set up the software and let's jump right into it. So to install the desktop client, all you need to do is go to erian.com and select which operating system you want to work with and download and install the software. On the smartphone, all you need to do is download the Erian app from either the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, um, open it up, hit accept to the terms and conditions, and you're basically good to go. The only thing is on an Android phone, um, I've noticed with both of my Android phones that I've tried, uh, when you plug your phone into the computer, a little box is going to pop up that says allow USB debugging. You just need to hit okay on that and then the app will function as normal. So when you open the desktop client, this is what you'll see. It's a very simple user interface. It will show your image and it will let you choose the default video format. So I've chosen three uh, 3840 by 2160 2K video, a nice, you know, high quality video. And then that, uh, that quality setting will apply to however you use your webcam. Now, in order to use this, all you would need to do is in whatever piece of software you're using your webcam, whether that's Zoom or Google Meet or OBS or whatever, all you would need to do is choose Erian as your webcam and the video will show up automatically. So thus far, this has been an awesome app. I haven't run into any problems. The one thing I will say is when your app is in use, your smartphone camera screen needs to be on. So I wouldn't recommend leaving your um, smartphone plugged in with Erie and open for long periods of time. I guess the idea is you would basically set up your smartphone with a little mount when you need it and then unplug it when you're not using it. Otherwise it could uh, run through your battery pretty quickly even with it plugged in. The one thing I did notice is in the settings on the smartphone app, there is a checkbox that says dim the camera when in use to save your battery. I'm gonna play with this a little bit and see if we get any battery draining issues or anything like that. And I'll throw a comment under this video uh, with any updates. But um, so far of the two, apps I've tried. Erian is definitely the way to go. Again, it's compatible for both Mac and PC and Android and iPhone. So uh, definitely recommend giving it a try. I'm finding the video quality to be far superior than any web webcam I've ever used. So um, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, throw a comment under this video if you've had a good or bad experience with it. And that's all I've got for you today. If you like this video, hit the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. We release new tech tips every weekday at noon as well as two live stream project sessions every weekday at 10 and two. And if you have an idea for a tech tip you'd like to see me create, throw it in the comments and I'll do my best. Thanks and have a great day.